use the best cantrip, Minor mm. Illusion, <laughs> and cause words to appear in his head. <laughs> There's a good it's reason, so guys. Don't worry. It's I'm so going to tell him, meet me in the alley. There's like one alley on this map, so I have faith you'll find it. <laughs> this town has <laughs> one more. alley. Literally. More than one alley, but okay. I only see one. <laughs> it's the from, one okay. place for a couple. Right. Yeah, I, I'll be honest. There's a couple. No, no. Okay, okay, there's here, Strike. here, and there. That's three but, times as many no, alleys no, 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 as no, you no. initially <laughs> said. No, no it's just one giant alley. Get it right. No, no. If, if you look over here, it's not an alley. Like, it's just a backyard. You wouldn't mm. call between two townhouses an alley if there's a park behind there. I guess no, the guards are called the backyard. There's an alley. That's an alley. Like, there's literally two alleys in the entire town, and I'm in one of them. <laughs> and it's, and one of them is no, no, inside. And the, no, and the one I'm in, he's in sight of, is the one I'm in. Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying he has a 50 50. But maybe Brindle thinks. And we see obvious. if that can trip works. I mean, it's a cantrip. Do we? This one. Uh, Do cantrips, we? Cantrips, cantrips auto work. Let's yeah. continue so you'll know what he'll think. It, it, <laughs> you'll go down to this one. It, the cantrip works. <laughs> oh, did it work? Now, what yeah, did he uh, hear? It, I mean, technically, I guess he could try to resist it if he really wanted to, but it doesn't do any harm, so... It's it's also not resistible. He can just not listen to it. Exactly. It's just it's, no... it's unwillful telepathy. <laughs> Hey, look, this is uh, this is nonsense. Point is, you hear it. Not nonsense. This is By Allah, oh, I will smite you. Can you please? By Allah, are you okay? When don't you follow the directions that just randomly appeared in your head? Dog. Yeah. I'll look left. Oh and... no no no! Sorry, it 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 does sound like Tresarian. You, you can make okay, it sound. Hold it, hold The problem is, what does Shizvarian sound like? No one knows. Then I'll trust it since I have heard him before, and I'll come over and, as, and like say, Maverick. Sheesh. I'll come over and uh, I go, Yes, Shizvarian. All right, boys, I fixed my truck. We're good to go. I can see finally. The rain is gone. Anyway, I hear it, I come over, and I go to the alley. I look at him, and I'll initiate contact. Initiating tactical contact. You have to right-click on his character portrait. Yeah, there. <laughs> have you, you have to have press E. He said he initiates contact. Well, yeah, but, like, Touch. I, didn't, I didn't have a dialogue window pop up, I expect. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a misclick. Damn it. The, no, the, the quest, it, 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 the quest uh, NPC it, no. is glitched. Damn guys, it, Bethesda. No, no, guys, guys, he hit inspect <laughs> instead of invite. It's a, it's a Nintendo game, so it doesn't use X. It uses circle. Fuck. Mm. <laughs> anyway, uh... All right. Okay, so, uh, I brought you here today. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Good, you woke up. Me. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna tell him hey, you, that you the uh, WASD to move. The boat has fucked off. He says that. I suspect in it as support. much. Just fair enough. My boat. Okay. <laughs> he brings him to the alleyway. So, says the boat uh, fucked off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it did though. Exactly. Uh, okay. <laughs> it is. Brindles answers. Yes, I suspect it as much. And uh, now. I know what you have in your possession, but I'd like to say that this place ain't exactly where I'm comfortable using it. I... <laughs> Who do you want to bring to? Fucking best motel or something to do it, or I'm, I'm a tell him. Best Western. I've done some legit major recon. And I'm gonna tell him to get like close to me, and I'll tell him where it is. Ready? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Don't be naive this time. <laughs> Bad idea. No, 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 no. It, like, if you crouch close to me, it will be revealed. If he oh, God. Oh, God. If you get on I your do. knees and... Uh, he is a dwarf. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. It sounds like a bad hentai guys, porno. And... No, no. Oh, you're, no, you're, no, you're, no, you're, no, 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 no. You're, you're, mi you're, you're a minute. Also, also, the giant spaghetti monster pops guys, out. You're misinterpreting what I'm saying. I don't mean, like, crouch, crouch. I mean, like, 
huddle into the same square. Oh, you mean a huddle game? Why don't you just give him a hug? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, get in, like, uncomfortable proximity. Because I, my solution requires a five foot square. Cool. I'm gonna make a box appear over us and te- and then be like, we can TP now. They can't see. <laughs> Minor illusions a broken spell, by the way. Yeah, I know it is. So it's presentation. I mean, literally all of the can trips are good. Hey, hey, cutie, come over here. Ah, it's a bad Great utility. Come here, buddy. Yeah. All right. So we can be on the boat now. <laughs> there we go. That was the entire plan. Good boy. <laughs> All right. Can we please transport to the ship now? It also works because Trisfarian can go take a nap. He went on a very exhausting walk and totally is not <laughs> busy leveling in Ghostlands. That's accusations, you know, unfounded. the next quest um i still love how my boat's still here i'm happy <laughs> now can we please tp yeah, to the singing giant the boat. Yeah, also can bang. someone please tell me why yeah, the ghost of john's character is still thing. fucking on my screen i am what hello game i'm sure you're refreshing all right we're now back on the ship the Which, boat it is what boat? did we rename um, it we didn't rename it yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, we haven't renamed it yet. We were in the process of renaming it. We need to it. rechristen the ship. Also, real quick. We should call it Enterprise. You guys know how Baron chat talks about random stuff? Ghostland chat's just hella based. Like, we got people saying Dalen Proudmore was right. Uh, you know. Can we get can we get some free the the SS the SS, da- the SS Davil Haf- Hasselhoff? Oh know. dude, the server I'm on literally is a four chan guild on the alliance. Bodie McBoatface. <laughs> Bodie McBoatface. <laughs> and they've got a dwarf supremacist guild. Um. Now, what will what will happen? Yeah, it's so anyway, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, when, when Brindle and Trisferian teleport on, we are in the middle of, if I remember correctly. We're, we're, we're in the middle of catching, hold on, so, trying so to here's, here's the thing, so the cur- currently, currently, if I remember, we're going south to get away. We currently have the series being patched, and yeah. we're in the process of renaming it. I literally sent the guy, yeah, go rename it, and we're in the process of trying to pick a new name. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pause it for a second, because I'm going to drag... Eleanor, I guess Eleanor over right. here said, "What about Enterprise?" And that's the uh, the entry. That's that, the that, Q2 yeah, us that's being. The, that's the Q enter. We're here. Yeah, enter. Now I'm just making jokes. Friends. This is not actually my character. <laughs> the the S S Winnebago. The Winnebago. <laughs> the Winnebago. Only one man would dare give me the strawberry. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle. You know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Virgil. I'm kidding. I have returned. What has happened? Oh! I was wondering when you'd show up. And... Courtesy so Tr- of Trisferian's right next to him, I presume? Yeah. He should be. Yeah, he should be. Yeah. Map. I was... I was wondering when you two would turn up. Well, well, they wouldn't teleport to somebody, so... Tell me, Brindle, w- what the hell were you... Ah, Brindle, you have returned to us. I, I'm me, so what... glad you got out of there. What the hell were you thinking back there? He was thinking... Extinct things. You turned yourself in. What? Why would you do that? Yeah, that was pretty... Oh, it's... I, and I say this in Dwarvish. Munchkin. And then I go back in common. I am fixing it. Instead of making it worse, like a bunch of you. Listen, it. listen, Brindle, Brindle, we have value, a valuable cargo on here. I had to do something. Fixing it how? What do you mean? I negotiated with the halfling. With the and he said, okay, well, forget it. You'll just have to pay 400 gold. Right. Like, if my, if my memory service is that amount, right? Yeah, I think that's right. 400, 400 gold? That's the thing we're making out of and this then, run. And then put it all, put it onto the, uh, a certain guild in the Latin Confederation. Oh, 
all the way. And then all that, and then all that is all gone. The, the guilds will leave us alone and we'll go on to do our business. That's a hell of what, a what you're saying is basically you. we lose everything. We lose every single penny we've made. But not, we'll have the opportunity to get, to get penny more. Every you've made. Well, not, to me not to mention the expense it will take to travel all the way around the continent. We have to get to Latium. Yeah. See? Uh, well, well, I, I'll go. I have a suggestion. If they could make a thousand it, gold in this short trip, think of how yeah. much they can make going across the entire continent. We have. I hold on, hold on, hold on. How I, much are we making again off of this run? I forget. I count since. Were you just making 400 gold or. That's More. what. Uh, one of, like that's, I said, I'll be right back. That's what the worth of our biggest delivery was, but we'll ma we still have some of the smaller ones. We'll we'll still make a profit. It's just it will be much it much clear less our of a name. profit. It'll clear our name. I go. And so, unfortunately, what that means is we're gonna have to, along the way, stop and pick up some cargo as we go to Latin Confederation. We're definitely. Actually, I have, have, have a suggestion. <laughs> what Actually, is your suggestion? We can go. Across the land for the Latin Confederation, to the Latin Confederation, instead of sailing around, we have a timeline, but it's long enough. Four hundred gold coins is forty pounds. Oh, it's not that bad. So, so anyways, can we I have carried a few pound bag of cement? Uh, it's not Tver fun, but you can do it. So, anyways, so we can have Rindel and Tresvarian go there, be there and back real quick. We could. I'm running out still young. Brenda, Brenda, wait! I have things to t tell you. There. Currently, we're in the process of renaming. Well, we were in the process of renaming the ship. Do you have a new name in, in, in you would mind? Because in fact, the singing giant leaves a bad taste in people's mouths. Vietnam flashback. Brenda gets rid again from like back in the harbor. Like this is so you, what? Not unlike Long Watcher himself, eh? Bad taste. What do you mean, you, what? You uh, dare rename the ship. We fought for our blood and sweat and rename it. Away what? From unfortunately, storm. it was either it was either keep the name of the ship, and every time we dock in the port, people would just start trying to fucking burn out our ship, or we rename it. Hey, How was I here. supposed to know what you were doing? All I knew is you were getting captured. I, I don't know what the hell happened to Tris Fair, and I don't even know who the hell that man is. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I, hey, hey, hey. What was I supposed to do? Hey, I, Brindle, Brindle. I think of it as a rebranding exercise. I go and poke him as high as I can get up uh, at his stomach and go, It is 50 years too early for a dwarf to reconsider a renaming. You should know that. To Fi Fi what guys, do you mean, Brindle? Where, you literally saw what, what happened. Currently, unless we get the gold now to that Titanian Confederation, every single time we dock out of, dock out of port, the sh people will try to burn down the ship. We have to I start have work on clean. clearing our and Unfortunately, the we ha we're going back north, like you said, and we don't have time to stop the Latasian Confederation. It's going to be time before if our either name is we cleared. rename it now and we don't have any problems, or you go get or you go freaking go give them the money now. And even then, it takes time to tell people, hey, they're good now. Word does not uh, At first spread they were bad, instance. and now we're good. Point is, we have to rename this ship. It is the only way we can feasibly get our cargo to its destination, and even make the money that we need to pay back uh, these, uh, this gnome. As you know, uh, no one knows, as you know, as we go north, no one knows what we look like, no, but exactly. everyone knows the ship name. Do they, though? Sh shut up. This is what I'm challenged. Like, they probably don't know because it's so far north. Most of those, uh, yeah. I, we've, Tortonian. look, we went to an di entirely different co a different country, and they still knew who we were. To be fair, you were just outside said country. Still, the point is, I don't want to take another it's risk. It's like being on the other side of the state line when you're being chased by look, state police we going, ha ha, you the, can't get me. Part of the same, uh, it, it was a part of the same trade route. If, Long the further we Brindle, go up north, it's still a part of that same. Voice for a second. God damn it! 
gone. Let me put this put this in basic terms. All right. Yes. Actually, I'm it's simple. Everyone knows a singing giant is a bad ship. Until we conclude the name of it, it's always gonna leave a taste in everyone's a bad taste in everyone's mouth. You can choose the name. I have no problem with that. And we just need something, at least for the time being, to get us back. At least get us to up north. We can rename it back to the singing giant after we clear our name. But until then, she temporarily needs to be something else. Rindle's cheeks go panic. from red to finally into back to a normal color. Then, well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Long watch sli- uh, face palms himself. God, why did I become a captain? Look, you can choose a name, why do whatever. I'm not listening. There you go. Come on, <laughs> shut up. Anyways. Critical hit. <laughs> Anyways, look. The crewmate, the, uh, the crewmate that's gonna be re- is gonna be painting is over there. If you want to tell him what you want and whatnot, just don't make it stupid. I won't. What is he going to yeah, rename way too late. I don't know. Let me we think. Made... Also, you gave me the honor, so I'm making it. <laughs> oh, boy. Long Watcher, as, as Brenda's doing the Long Watcher, it walks back over to, to the Navigator, just to, just to tell him to change, change directions. Hang on, let me just don't this. call it the SS Bino, please, because I don't feel like being stuck on island on an island with Gilgan. I mean, Long Watcher. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, I'll 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 go uh, the the northern uh, the sapphire of the north. At that rate, you're just calling it the SS Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I go to Rhiannon, and I'll greet her. Hello, Rhiannon. <laughs> Welcome back, Dwarf. Greetings, Isabel. I have been doing a lot of thinking behind the slammer. And my thoughts went back he to our in little disagreement in Flaston. <laughs> <laughs> and the honor duel we made. <laughs> oh, right. Helmet. I didn't I have... say that in character, by the way. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> and I go, uh, I have a proposition. And I go look over at the the yeah the hole the, no gaping hole in your in shirt. Now, the hole in your armor. Let's just yeah. call it that, right? And I, I yeah I, I I can see it, right? And I know it's pretty. And I'm the dwarf, and uh, I have blacksmith proficiency, and uh, so I know that armor's kind of fucked, right? It, it, it's fucked, yeah. <laughs> I'll go. Uh, how about we start from fresh? Disregard that honor duel oath, and I'll fix your armor for you. No charge. I mean, I'm not gonna say no to someone fixing my armor. Should I start heading down into the oh, ship? Oh, I, I go hold. Yeah, like, you're not going anywhere. I'm just gonna go. I'd like to use. Mending. Well, it was a critical. Oh wait, one. you took spells. You. That's my you. Man. That's my surprise. <clears throat> yeah, nobody knew that yet. <laughs> wait, nobody. I know. That. That's why. Oh, I know. Yeah, but I know. No, 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 I knew about this. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, I was gonna tell you, tonight. but yeah. No. no anyway. No. I was gonna tell, uh, oh, did yeah. Oh, sneak artificer? Anyways, while this is going on, I look up to Navigator real quick. I say, uh, change course, set course back to normal, we're heading back up north. Yes, sir. Can we fast travel now? Yeah. yeah. Sure. All right. So, uh... I don't have a world map. I'm gonna bring up that, uh, world map. One second. We passed by Friesshausen, that one town that kicked us out. Uh, as we approach, I have a question uh, for the DM, because I know this is a few of the characters have. Do we see any naval vessels? Can I roll perception? Can I roll perception for, for observing if there are enemy naval vessels? Enemy naval vessels? Yeah. 
no, any potential naval. Yeah. Yeah, because if you remember correctly, when we fled, we were worried about the possibility of being tracked by the Imperial Navy. I say it to you guys. So we're just I checking out, it like, out if the Imperial Navy just. You s when you're passing the port that you just fled from, yeah. you do see the naval vessels out patrolling. You see them, so that means they can see you, but they're not paying you any mind. Alright. They're just and like. I, 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 turn I, just, I turn over just... uh, and I say. What? And I just say, uh. Just to be safe, make sure to steer clear of those of those imperial ships. Uh, Brindle, uh, no, Brindle is right next to uh, Virgil and goes, Told you I worked it out. Uh, long watch, long watch, may the may the gods smell upon us. I've always smell upon us. I have done nothing to shame my ancestors at this point. I don't and even I have answers answers anymore. So All I have is Rob Schneider. So we, He's still my we heart. keep traveling up, and the next town we come across is a uh, a port town called Marzio Street. Is there a town called Kaiser Slot? Get soon height. <laughs> it's Dutch. Is that a major city? I know, I'm joking. <laughs> it's, uh... How do you see this? I can't see. I need a big. I need a bigger map. Uh, it's the se it's the second largest of these northern uh trading cities in the empire okay so yes right and, and i anyways i look i look at riches i'll come with you so just uh, for, just for, let's, let's this time let's just go at uh guild rates because I, I don't need can i uh any more headaches i go I yell, i'll keep I the yell, ship safe then captain i yell to the helmsman dock the ship into wait the, ain't it my job to keep the ship safe? I mean, you can you can go with them, and I uh, well, yeah. Uh, Since I'm the first mate, I, I'll be the one in charge until I the captain comes back. I would personally, but you will still be at the helm of defending it. Personally, I would appreciate the extra security if I could take Rhiannon mm -hmm. with me. Fine, I go. Yeah, like we're yeah, we could basically order. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I I have not objected. Well, you can order her to do anything. <laughs> Yeah, we realize we own her. We've been doing this entirely wrong. I like to prepare my bagpipes as I, uh, I wait. Do this. There. Okay. Oh dear God. And anyways, <laughs> as 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 we're on the docks and getting off the ship, I look at Vienna and Virgil and I go, "All right, let's try to keep a low profile. Let's go at a reasonable price from we bit when we uh, bit this cargo." And let's try get out of here without being run out of town again. No incidents. Looks at me, Anon. Brindle just pokes no out No incidents. His, uh, Brindle just pokes out his bagpipes and start playing. I think Rhiannon was a problem. Random too. Rhiannon. Try to play a song. Rhiannon will be fine. Trust me, Captain. Vir 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 Virgil, as I'll, I'll let you do talking since you are the Latin boy. All right. You know what? Just I like have... like I said, do do reasonable. I am normal perfectly quote. fine with that. Uh, let us go to my uh... backpipes play. Let us, uh, the harbor. Let's first go the to... harbor? Yeah, let's first go around the We're harbor. We're at the harbor. We're going into the harbor now. Yeah, the harbor district. Like the because the harbor <laughs> Yeah, and it's like We're already in the, the harbor. harbor. What you... More than just uh, the the docks, which is over here. It's also all of these warehouses and shops. This is the place where you got to do That's your. Wrong, these are the, the local sailors. tavern where everyone no, gets the to when they get to red light the district. Tavern would be around over here. Uh, oh, let's just find the guy who's in charge of warehouses. Me. The guild. Uh, I the local yeah, guild. I yeah. Let's go find the local guild and ask let's, let's, if they got anything that needs to be shipped out. Let's go for. Let's look for the shipping guild's office. Can I find? Uh, I'm gonna roll. Uh, I'm gonna roll. Uh, Everyone roll perception Everyone check. Roll yeah, perception. Uh, I guess can we to look for the uh, the shipping guild DM? Can we roll perception? Or, yes, you can. Uh, all right. Yeah, roll performance for playing my backpacks while I wait. <laughs> all right. So Baz sees it. Baz, Baz yeah, clearly sees better. it. That yeah, better that boat. yeah, it's a better boat. Yeah, much. Better. Oh, that's a much better boat than the one I drew. <laughs> I literally yeah. just cut it out of the actual other picture. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we see the shipping guild. Yes. We walk. We walk up. To, we walk in. I tell everyone where it is. Yeah. Just follow my lead, and th and things should go smoothly. God willing. Of course, God willing. So, uh, I assume we can just open the door and walk in. Deal? Yeah. All right. All right. We walk in, and I I'm leading, flanked by uh, by the captain and our bodyguard. Head of security. Yeah. Head of security. <laughs> um. We uh we look around. What do I see? Describe the room I'm walking into. You see a very weathered bench, an old gruffy, scruffy uh, man behind the counter. Mm. A couple people sound like they're making deals on the corners. First. Um. He's got basically little figures of each of the ships that are at port. And then the person hand them, hand them, hands them a token that would be resembling your ship. Real quick, uh, what time of day is it? I'm going to go with uh, mid-morning. Alright, mid-morning. I'm going to say like 10 in the morning or whatever. I'm going to start by... Uh, are there any... So I'm going to walk up to this desk. Okay. Where the old man is. And I say... <laughs> I say, good morning, sir. Hi. Good morning. I was yeah, I, I mean good morning. Basically. I, I know that. Jeff does, apparently. No, I do. He didn't say anything afterwards. Because I was eating some food. Oh. I got some dinner here right in front of me. <laughs> I can imagine, like, just Jeff Keir Jeff Keir to watch, and he goes, Good morning, guy goes, I. And then just no conversation for a few seconds. He goes, sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> like, I, I, I was just, like, fighting I'm out of I'm still eating my breakfast. I'm I, still I, eating my breakfast. No, you know what? I'm going to incorporate this. My character walks in with, like, an apple. I figured you were going to pick apple. Takes a big fucking bite out of it when he says I. He a, takes a minute to chew it. The director needs to show his character an apple. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> he, just, he, he takes it. He's the fighting out of it. Takes a minute. He's like, so I was business. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, it's rude. It comes and goes. So far, not too bad. Well, uh... At least today. My companions and I have just, uh... Docked our ship into port. We're looking he to see if there's... points to a... where your ship is actually port, uh... Parked. Yeah, basically parked. Docked. Ported. Whatever. Yeah. That one. Located. You'd be correct. Keen eye. But he doesn't actually point to your, like, boat. He points to, like, the actual, like, slip that you would actually be docked at on his little, like, yeah. figuration. Yeah, he has, like, like his figurine stand. Yeah. I say, yes, very good. Keen eye. Now, uh, we have come in here uh, seeking uh, business. A contract with the guild to do shipping in this region. Yeah. Okay, second. We would like to, we would like to receive our official guild license for trading. Okay. I what kind of trade? <clears throat> Cargo of any kind needing to be shipped across the seas. We are not uh, specialized yet, if you will. We trade in all kinds of wares. It's like the DMV processor. You have the wrong form. You need to be in the opposite he line. He has coin. We have wares. <laughs> mm. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Where is it that you originally came from? Not talking about you personally, talking about the boat. 
Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, you acquired the ship uh, the Swassons, right? Right, Captain? Yeah, we acquired the Swassons. That's when we bought it. Swassons. Well, acquired, yes. it. acquired it, I should say. Bought, That's a yes, decent yes. way down. Um, not too far if you think about it. It's only one na It's only one kingdom over. Actually, it's like two kingdoms. Nor in the Empire okay. passes two kingdoms <laughs> over. No, one kingdom. It's, it's one kingdom. With Empire. several ports. Several Whatever, ports anyways. over. Yes, we are. We are. We have come. I, I suppose you could say a decent way, and we plan to go a long way further. <laughs> Max here. Max. He didn't, like, yes. scratches Max is here. Scruffy beard. <clears throat> Well, I guess a play thing to do to tell you is currently uh, trade costs are 10 gold per cubic foot of cargo used. Mm. Um, a gold ahead. Um, if you have security, obviously you can charge a little bit more. How much does the guild take? Is there just a chartering fee or how does this all arrange? The guild work? typically takes a third. A full guild third. All right, all right. Is there any kind of so a... like for for like every ten gold piece we make, they take three, right? Am I wrong or no, you're right. okay? Okay. Yeah. And uh, is there any kind of chartering fee with the guild, or that's incorporated into the third? All right. Fair all enough. Right. Well. I suppose I agree. Well, I uh, I agree to the guild's terms. What about you, Captain? Yeah, I can agree to those those terms. All right. What do we have to uh, we have to sign something? From the distance, they hear a dwarf say, "Day what?" <laughs> no, okay, just kidding. There's always something to sign. Of course. Let's make sure it's not Darun. Doing the mm. contract. <laughs> yeah, we both screwed. Yeah, I made a mistake. <clears throat> yeah, you're Ghost Rider now. <laughs> <clears throat> Reaches over behind him, grabs out an old parchment, unscrolls it, and points his finger out at the bottom. Sign there. Hold on, hold on, guys. I think you should. Can With I, your can ship I... name. I want to just real quick. I just need to run. Buy something. What? Uh, if there's a place or up. I just because this probably is gonna be a chill day and I can waste the spell slot. I just want to check. Uh, do not charm this person. Is anything person about this to get a fucked? better deal? That's I was. Uh, ding quite catch that what was that is anything about this fucked no it all seems up and up i mean you have the contract you can be read out the contract like, like. i no, like i am concentrating my feelings granting myself divine not like did anyone tan like so this is using the tech thing for good this is all above board it is completely above board all right okay now that i have Ooh, a normal parchment a normal quill all normal right ink. All right. Can I can I do perception check and just like, like do I like understand the entire contract and like yeah. you know? All right, we're reading it over. Uh, uh loading and unloading cargo is uh loading and unloading cargo one silver per pound, and if it needs to be loaded, um, if it takes up more than a cubic foot of space, it's ten gold. Uh, 
such as like crates, barrels, stuff like that. Um, they okay. will take a third of your wages. It is going to be one uh, gold per passenger, and you mm -hmm. are required to feed them. And obviously, if there is, <laughs> if you give protection as part of your charm you can charge double I uh, see our pro our protection is literally just having <laughs> like me and just sit there in a the room just stare at them and just make sure they we don't have, die we have like hey, some, most people don't even have one night we have several <laughs> yeah we have a night dude just be, be grateful for that shit bro yeah we yeah, have a knife, we you have know, a giant... Oh, God, also, out of curiosity, are we allowed to... Uh, so with this charter, are we allowed to rename the ship, or once, once uh, it's... Well, oh, well, technically it's thing. already renamed. Oh, yes, uh... When you sign... If you sign it, he told you... We are... We, let, let's, to sign it with your ship's name. Yeah, let us put that uh, in the name of... So we're, we are and registering And he also the ship. wants the list of crew members. Alright. Uh, this, sh this ship is called, uh... Oh, no, you just want you to sign it. All right. So it's, you, uh, put your me. ship's name uh, on the contract. Br 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 Brendo's going to hate us so much, meaning we can't rename the ship now from the singing di Look. giant to the fucking north. Look, just sure. go it's back and you amend the name. Look, allow me. Can we actually do that, really? I'm pretty yeah, sure. Probably. Could. The Look, contract. It's bureaucracy. Well, you, never ask, you, you could ask. Oh, can I ask another like, a question for you? Uh, is it... Are, uh, can, can we go back later on and uh, amend the contract if we ever decide in the future to rename the ship for whatever reason may be? Well, typically wow. you only name, rename the ship if something terrible happened. But the yes, you can somebody. come in here and remake, uh, remake your contract. Okay. Yeah. I was just, I just didn't know. If, it's just a know. contract amendment. Anyway, so I did, I, I, uh, Virgil. Virgil grabs the, the something uh, terrible happens. Cough, the, uh, cough. He grabs the, the the quill and he says he looks at uh, Long Watcher and says, "Shall I, Captain?" Sure, go ahead. He writes uh, in the in the in the in the marked spot where he's supposed to write the name of the ship. He writes the Sapphire of the North, not the West or the East. <laughs> Me meanwhile, meanwhile, Brenda, Brenda in the background. We just all of a sudden you just hear, what? So he writes the Sapphire of the North, and then there's a, a section below that where it, his is, I, I believe it probably says something like crew registry. Yes. And uh, he goes to the first part. He uh, he comes to the first line and he says, "Eh," he says, "You should probably sign this yourself, Captain." Sure, he sure. Hands the uh, the quill to uh, Long Watcher, pushes the parchment over to him, and that first column, you know, says Cap. Uh, Virgil has written Captain, and then there's a, a like a dividing line. You know how these registries look. Yeah, and yeah, you have yeah. Ca a Captain, uh, Captain Von Haller, Long Watcher Sandler. Yeah, you have to sign. So you sign. He signs his name, and then. Virgil, uh, first mate would be Brindle. Yeah, for, he write, uh, next column, first mate, Brindle. He like Virgil writes out Brindle, and then he stops. He's like, hey, yeah, what do we know his last name? <laughs> uh, do you know his uh, Brindle's uh, his surname? surname? His, his family name? Uh, I don't think anybody knows it. No one, no one has. No, he's never told me that. <laughs> Really? I, I thought if anyone would know, you would know. I mean, I can make up a name if that helps. <laughs> and then we just go from there. We don't Brindle want to, short we don't, stack. We don't oh, want so to in have, other words, you're going to, to forge the documents. Yeah, we already. don't want to make purposely fraudulent documents. Uh, it's not what you, uh, well, unfortunately, <laughs> I do not watcher, know what this is. Uh, captain, and Captain, we... Captain. And I, we... I advise you as not only your accountant, but uh, your self-declared... A uh, legal advisor or uh, lawyer, if you will, that you uh, please shut up. <laughs> now. Also, you could always uh, fix the uh, crew registry later. What was the new name of the ship? The Sapphire of the North, Rhiannon. 
Yeah. It's a bit of a mouthful, but it, it's pretty. I like the imagery. Yeah. Now, uh... We don't have any... Uh, uh, long Watcher, could you... Uh, uh, Captain. Captain, I'm sorry. Captain. Yes. Could you do me a favor, please? What is it? Go find Brindle. Could you please, uh, go get Brindle's name? I don't want to falsify any documents here. Fine, fine. Just continue writing out everyone else's name, yes. then while I'm gone. Alright. Oh, wait. Do we not know his last name? Yes. <laughs> no, no, we don't. No, so, no, anyways... If anyone... The one so, per no, no one knows, and the one person who I thought would know does not know. Anyway, no, so no, I no, walk no. out the door, and I head back to the docks. So I walk up to the docks. So I yell, Brendo, can you hear me? Do I hear it while I play my bagpipes? I rolled a 13 earlier, so... Yeah. <laughs> on performance. I'll say you heard you heard his voice, but you can't actually like discern what it actually says. I'll stop playing and go. What? Get over here! I need to ask you a question. What? What is your surname? We're trying to fill out some documents. Hmm. It's been a while. I, I let me think back. You know, like, yeah, he's been wondering. I, I, I yell, he met the group. you don't even know. <laughs> no, like, uh, no, he, he hasn't used his surname in a while, so he'll go. I think Brindle has a surname on his character. I think Brindle even has a surname. <laughs> Turns out his last name is actually Sandler. We actually come for just someone, cousins. Someone asked him, like, what's oh. your last name? He said, Oi, what is my last name? <laughs> he I'll actually have to only think, has one I'll name. I'll have to think back sheet. on it. <laughs> let me make, let me come up with a name. Most before. people just <laughs> called me Basically. Brindle, son of. What, what's Brindle's father's name? Brindle! Brindle, the Who's son that? of Brindle! Nah. Brindle, son of Brindle, son of Brindle, son of Brindle. Actually, Brind I have Brindle. my own character. Brind Brindle McBrindleson. Yeah, yeah, his last name might just be, like, father's name, son. For all we know. Oh my! My name is Wolf. I do have a mode. father name before you go on. And what did that make me? Wolf's father's name is Brindris. Brindris! Brindle Brindris. Works for me. Brindle, son of Brindris. Also, just to let you know, we are now uh, we are now part of the guild, meaning we shouldn't have any more issues. Brind Everything is under the control. Oh yeah, of course. I like to just I like to say for most of people, like dwarves are uh, very heavy on the ancestry, so they're like uh, this son of this, daughter of that. You know, very hairy. What? Heavy. Oh, heavy. Okay. Also, heavy anyway, anyways, anyways. As I say, as I say that, I start walking away. I turn around, Brenda, one last side. It's Brenda. It's what is it? One more time. <laughs> son of Brenda's. Son of Brindus, got Can it. You spell that. <laughs> anyways, anyways, I walk back to, I walk back, I walk all the way back, and I open the door, and I walk up to Virgin and go, it's son of Brindulis. Son of Brindulis? Brindulis? No. You're oh not here. God. You can't correct him. <laughs> all you have is this game of telephone. That you're playing you have the guy who can't translate. Go and get people's name. Hey, wait, one more time. Wait, I have to ask this. Why can't you go with you? He's like, shit. What was it? Was it again? <laughs> Hold on. I, I look. I look. I look at Virgil. Go. No, no, I'm screwed. No, I'm gonna I'll bring Brenda real quick. I'm right back. So I walk all. Hold on. Hold on. So I walk all the way back to the ship <laughs> and I yell out, Brenda, get over here. <laughs> Brenda. It's Brindle. just me and Virgil in this Brindle. office, just like. So at this point, our... I'm yelling at Brenda's yeah, name. Brenda, can nose. you please respond? <laughs> I go, all right, I'm coming. And I Can go you just come with us? We can't say, pronounce yeah. your name. Watch Virgil. the ship. No, no, there is no we can't pronounce it. You can't pronounce it. Okay, anyway, yeah. anyways, anyways, I look at Bruno. I look at Bruno. I look at Bruno. Look, I've done all I need to do up there for the most part. I don't watch the ship. If you need me, just come and get me, okay? And we'll switch. Go, oh, yeah, where's the way to the guild? 
<laughs> you have to get. He wasn't with us for that walk, Long Watcher. You can't just God say damn. go to the guild right, office. Fine. I'm fine. gonna tell... go chill. <laughs> tell tell Helmsman Cotton he'll have to watch this shit while we're tell, away. Yeah, tell tell Helmsman Cotton and watch it. Brendo, come with me. I go along. Okay. Aren't I still on the ship? Eric, yes. so yes. There we go. I don't watch the ship. Yeah, you got, uh, you got Darun. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Even though no one you knows have, my actual name have, or my last name. You have Darun oh, and, you have Darun and Eleanor watching the hey, ship. Hey, hey, Max. Also, take wait, shit, step what do I put down place. for Eleanor? She has, like, five She's names. not part of the crew. Oh, okay, yeah, she's, she's not, not part crew. of the crew. She's not crew. Right. Anyway, not crew. anyway, so I walk up, I, I bring Brendo into the office. Here, here's Brendo. You can tell you what your name is. Go uh, next to uh, yeah. I'll go next to God uh, to Virgil and g spell every word. How Spend many words letter. are there? <laughs> just give me uh, your father's name as well. Just just say it for me. Brinris. And, and then I'll I'll spell it out. B B. No, like R R Y. <laughs> Why? Just have him write it at this N point. R I S. Wait, wait, no, Rihanna, right. Start from the beginning. Finish what you were saying. No, B R Y. B R Y N R I S. Brinris, son. There we go. Yes, yeah, son of Brinris. Yeah. Brin. All right, and so he writes on their first mate, Brindal Brinrisson. That's acceptable. We're in Nordland, that's how they would do it. Yeah. And then he writes under, uh... He writes, uh, Rhiannon's name, he writes his own name, he goes down the whole list. And then he comes, and then he comes to, uh, Darun, he says, hey, Captain, what's, uh, what's Darun's official? Like, I'm, I am this, uh, you know, steward, accountant. What's Darun's official position? A contractor? A conjurer of a... Curses and... Spiders! Brindle's the ghost. A question of business partner. Business partner, yes. A Darun... Uh, Last time I checked, he was just an investor who owned uh, land. What's uh, this is? What that makes him a I'm business going... partner, isn't it, Captain? Long watcher, uh, Captain. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes, Vernon. You have to ask something. Again. <laughs> you want me to go get Vernon? Do you? Can you please get Vernon? I'll go with you. Okay. Brent, 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 come with me. You're gonna watch the ship. I'm gonna go get Vernon. <laughs> So now me and now me and Bruno walk out <laughs> out of the guild all the way back to the ship. Bruno gets on the ship and tells Jerome go along, Watcher. Yeah, I, I I'll go get the uh, Jerome and go. Jerome, they need you at the guild hall. We we need to sign shit. Hold on, go. hold on. Why are at it? Do we need do we need the navigator Cottonmouth with us as well? No, I know how. Okay, so it is, so now I, no, I bring the rune all the way to the guild. I go, now here's the rune. He just walks in to see me, like, Darun, I just pinching need the bridge thing. of my nose. I just need one thing from you. I need your family name. Okay, give me the pin. Or quill, I mean. Right. Hey, Not pin. hey, hold on. He hands and the that's what I write. Dunare? Uh, so, watch that video real quick. Yes, I used a random name generator for Polish names. That's what came out. Other than the Rasputin part. Rasputin. Michael, Michael, watch that video real quick and let me know what you think of it. I look at the name. I, I, I kind of grab her and I say, Is that really your name? Yes. So, your name is Dunare. Donare Rasputin yeah. Gatsby. Oh, oh, yeah. What the fuck are you getting Gatsby? You get Gatsby the great Gatsby. <laughs> nah, 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 his name is the Great Gatsby. So you're using a, so you're using a pseudonym the whole time? Well, yes, I would assume. Even though I go by it all the time. I would assume. Hey, look, 
So the point is, I'm just, the reason I'm asking... Is it your name or not The reason I'm asking is because I don't want to get us indicted for fraud. I've got to put, ev I got to put out honest information on this contract. Okay, yes, that is my legal name. Thank you. I'll, and I turn back to the man and I say, Alright, that's everyone. And he hands over the, uh, he pushes the parchment, the parchment back over to the old man, which has... You got all the sailors, right? Yes. It has the name of everyone in the crew. The only... Uh, uh, we just had to get the, the last name of the dwarf and the name of the mysterious, uh... Okay, I'm back. ...contract, uh, of Doom guy. <laughs> the Ghost Rider Commander. Yes. So it has a full registry, it has the name of the ship, the Sapphire of the North, and a full registry of the crew for the guild's records. There. Now let's not screw up. Anything, anything else? <sighs> that be it. Okay, John's not even here, I forgot about that. Right. Anyways, so Mike, Mike, what do you think of the video, by the way? I post I post I post I don't care about it. Anyway. It's only five it's unrealistic. Oh. What did you give Michael for the title? Uh head of security. Yes. Ah, you should have put Dark Knight or Ghost Rider. That would have been fraud and he doesn't want to do that. Yeah, if you want specific titles, um Long Watcher is obviously the Thunder Captain, Brindle under First Mate, uh, Rhiannon is listed under Head of Security, Darun it is registered simply under the vague title of Business Partner. <laughs> yes, very vague. And uh, Virgil is listed as Steward. Also, I dig this, like, Greek Orthodox-looking-ass, uh, Archbishop Palace. Look at this shit, Michael. Alright, what was hmm? I doing again? Am I the ship? Look at this Greek Orthodox-looking, uh, Archbishop Palace. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna quick. assume... I'm waiting for the, for the DM This to is back. based on Ravina. Quick question about While, while waiting for the DM, it's time to thank today's sponsor, ShamWow. ShamWow? ShamWow. It's a uh, towel that you feel shame in. Hey, Jeff. Not you, yeah, not other John in your life. <laughs> well, please go on now. Yeah, we just uh, turned over the uh, the parchment to the old man. Listing out the name of the ship and the full uh, crew registry. He reads over it, rolls it up, damps it with wax, and puts it in uh, the slit right behind him. You are now officially registered with the guild. All right, thank you, sir. You're very and welcome. Virgil reaches out to shake the man's hand. He measures your hand and judges his strength accordingly. Alright. So you, you, have have little, oh. <laughs> you have a little dainty hand, so he doesn't want to like, crush him. Yeah. <laughs> then, then, then the long archer reaches out his hand. Oh, he straight up vice grips your hand. <laughs> mm. If a long watcher goes, ah, I defer him, Jake. Well, nice. I assume you two are going to find cargo transport. That's right. That's Darun, right. you want to go gambling? Why would I gamble? Because it's money. Fun. I I look I look I look at you to to do no your My money's tied, money. tied up in the business. Michael, the only time I would gamble is if I own the building. The only time you would gamble if it involves taking out clothes with you. But that's besides the point. Or Georgia character. Uh, I beg your pardon, Captain. I was talk. I was talking outside of game. 
not not in not in game. You use the same voice mm -hmm. though. I I don't know how to turn off voices and turn on voices. God damn it. Anyway, so she goes off. She doesn't have an on-off switch. So, uh, I don't actually. Just kind of so just keep going until it shuts Virgil off. Says, well, looks like our head of security just went off to a gamble. Gee, what a shocker. Uh, the ruin. I guess you can go back to the ship. The captain. And I'm the gonna go look for materials to make contracts with. Uh, all right. You do that. You Anyways, Virgil, that. let's go. Yes. Uh, so, as if I remember... Hold on, hold on. Out of curiosity, do we have, like, a slip or something that, like, tells us, like, you know, what's the going raid and shit like that for, like, the guild? I remember what I was told. Oh, I okay, never mind, that was good. I remember anything told to me within the last 24 hours. And it was... Oh, perfect, uh, let's go then. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> yeah, it was, like, 10, uh... It was... Yeah, I remember... Point... Could you read it out? Uh, I'm gonna write it down now. While well, it's still fresh in my character's mind, one silver per pound if needed loaded. One silver per pound. If they if they need <laughs> you to load it. Okay. One silver per pound if loaded by crew. There you go. <clears throat> Ten gold per cubic foot. Google career certificates provide online job training that's fast foot of cargo and then it was what 10 gold ahead it was one gold ahead 10 one, gold if it's over one gold ahead. one, yeah, one gold, gold and then if it was extra like guarded then you can charge more depending on the security we can charge a higher price yeah mm -hmm. if we have security which we do yeah mm -hmm. i would hope so <laughs> I would hope so too. <laughs> I mean, almost everybody in the ship Charge is armed in one way double. or another. Okay, is that that? Those are all the those are all the guild rules. Any more guild yep. rules? All right. Yep. So, uh, if I remember correctly, right next to us were men discussing business. That is correct. How has that conversation gone in the uh, thirty minutes it took us to get this contract <laughs> signed? Because we had to send a guy to the ship and back twice. Twice. Um, it's progressively gotten worse. All right, you looks can like, definitely looks tell like it's my one place is to more miss. Looks like it's my place to come in. Virgil sees this shit, right? He sees that there's obviously some dissatisfaction going on here. He does the yeah. good old that that you know handshake <coughs> that you're gonna do when you're developing a plan. You're like, oh yeah, you know that that oh yeah, like rubbing your hands together. It's like. I got this. Yeah. He's got oh that. yeah, here we go again. He's on. He's on those yeah. good vibes. So, oh, what shit, I'm doing go again. Though, is I'm going to the tavern. And I'm right. going to try and get him get against drunken. May I, may I interject here to say that Brindle gets thirsty and he wants to save a little bit of that ale at the bottom of the ship, and he goes for a drink as well. Also, we're at the northwest part of the empire. Just so you know. Yeah, it's northwest. Anyway, so I guess I go around that town and ask directions, and probably get there eventually. Uh, back the, the red building right here is the inn, right? Or tavern. I go there. <laughs> anyway, business talk. Yes. Oh wait. Uh, real quick, before I interject, I want to uh try and see if I can get a, an idea of what these men are talking about. Uh, right ahead. Is there something I can roll? I will be uh, right back again. I think something just broke. Bet. All right. Uh, can I roll perception? Yes. Yeah. Can he roll perception? Okay. So. I hope he figures out how. I Should I roll perception as well? Uh, if I fuck this up, which I didn't. Nope. Okay, we're good. I want to see what these um, two uh, men are discussing. From the slight bits that you're overhearing you can tell that one is dis uh one that looks matter um he's darker haired kind of like handlebar mustache okay actually describe the two people who are talking are they both human yes okay so one's uh got a handlebar mustache what are the age of the two men upper range of 40 
Okay, so in their 40s, so they're uh, older guys. One's got a got old timey facial hair, and uh, he's mad. And the other guy, what is he also mad? No, he's actually. I wouldn't say happy, but he's unemotional. I guess that's the easiest way to say it. I look over at uh, Long Watcher and I kind of uh, nudge him and say, What do you make of this? Oh, hi. Um, <laughs> so, oh, hi. Um. <laughs> I told you. I was, I was, uh, so what we gather is one guy's upset, the other guy's chilling, right? He, yes. he, he, he's non-responsive. As a, well, it seems to me it looks like somebody either didn't get paid the wages or the order was fucked up and he doesn't care. One of the two. Either way, it's an opportunity for us. True, true. All we need to do is just ask what's going on and then we can go from there. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Follow my lead. Alright, follow him. He walks. Virgil's gonna slide up into that shit. Slides into the said, guy's DMs. Says, I uh, can't hear. I can't help but overhear your yelling. Uh, what seems to be the problem here? Lack of delivery. Lack of delivery. And you can definitely hear hear the so like. This is, this is the angry sternness. handlebar mustache man. Yes. Who's like lack of delivery, or like mm -hmm. however an angry older German man would say that. Imagine you're being yelled at by Otto von Schirr. One's pause, the blast, the high, lack of delivery, y'all. And he's like, hey, could you elaborate? Three shipments in a row, and they've never gotten delivered. And this asshole over here just tell, tells me it's business. It's business. Did you hear that? Did you hear that, Captain? This man. My, uh, and my like, ears haven't deceived me yet. Apparently, he said it's just business, not not to fulfill a contract. Apparently, three shipments, and this man just says, "Oh, it is business." Uh, were you so now? Tell me, sir, were you uh, at all uh, given uh, what's that word? Uh, reckon uh, recompense for your losses? Not a single. And no copper. recompense, not even half. Poor shame, poor shame. What a crew. Poor shame indeed. Now, it, tell me, sir. What was it that you lost, if I might uh, inquire? Several weapons and... Um... Rations, basically. Oh, how how nice! It's just, just random uh, weapons uh, all over the place now. Now lost. That seems that's, that seems perfectly safe. I, mean, I blame Steve. It's the Middle Ages. There are swords everywhere. Yes. I don't care, Michael. You, can, you can't walk outside without tripping over a sword. But that's neither here nor there. Now, <laughs> not what I come from. That sounds horrible. And honestly, I understand your frustration with this man. Tell me, do you, uh, is, is there anything I could uh, perhaps do within uh, my humble limitations to, to help you out, sir? Is there anything you perhaps need done? Yeah, delivery to get one time. Hmm. That, seems, well, that seems pretty reasonable, you know. Well, I don't know if you know this, sir. But my associate and I actually own a ship of our own. This man right here, this very tall and fine fellow, is captain of the Sapphire of the North. The I, I reach, I, 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 as he says, I reach up my hand to like shake his hand. The finest, the finest, newest, and the fastest. Uh, does, does, uh, does he, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, John, does he, does he shake my hand though? Yes, he shakes your hand. The, na the name is Captain Sandler. What, 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 uh, hold on, I'm trying to figure out the word this real quick. As he's English, hands, you, you, I'm guessing we're both staring at him. 
Yeah. As he shakes your hand, you see the other hand ball up into a fist. And he just clocks the other guy. Oh, so the guy the guy just shook hands, but he just turns around and just fucking lays him out. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, yes. I look at Vertigo. I like this guy. I like could... this guy. I can't imagine <clears throat> why. <laughs> <clears throat> no, sir. He speaks to me on so many levels. <laughs> What 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 name are you be, sir? Now oh, what is his name? I asked what his name is. Give him a second. Give him a second, Chief. Jake from State Farm. Better than <laughs> Hi, my name is Jake. Jake from State Farm. What's the most German name you can think of? Hitler. Heinz? <laughs> That's <laughs> like we're both the same idea, like Adolf Hitler? <laughs> that's about what we got? Like Schultz? But, but I'm, sorry, but that's realize, I'm really just honking my horn. I'm letting everyone know that I'm honking my horn. I've honked my horn. You know that good. makes no sense. sense. Alright, his name is Hans. Cool. Huh, uh, yeah. What's his last name? Hans. Zimmerman? Hans, his name is Hans Gruber. <laughs> I, I was thinking Hans Solo, but... Hans so God. Hans Olo. Hans Olo. <laughs> Hans, o Hans Olaf. Olaf's hey, Hans Olafsson. Well, what is Olafsson? I, I don't know. I was thinking Olaf from fucking Frozen. Oh. Orlaus. How's about that? Ha uh, uh, Hans uh, Heinz. Hans Heinz. No, get out. The easiest here. way to piss that's off so any dumb. German is just to have them listen to our conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yep. that's, yeah. A, that's a dumb name. I'd go to German class. Anyway. <laughs> he might have taken it, he never said he passed it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. To be fair, it's a class that you could probably pass by sleeping through it. Right. As long as you can pass the test. Uh, so, sir, Mr. Hans. Just Hans. Just Mr. Hans. Well, pleasure to meet your acquaintance, Senor Hans. Uh, my name is... is you, know, you know, like, no, Senor Me. it doesn't just mean... It's not just a Spanish word. It's just a... It's in, in plenty of... Right. Like, Italians language. use it. Like, Italians it's use it. Italian French honorific, use it. yeah. It just means... It's just a term of, like, uh, yeah. respect. You know? Hans will know it's respectful and he's from the South. Yeah. Yes, uh, uh, my name is Virgil Chiara, and this is, I'm sure you are familiar with him now, uh, lo uh, Long Watcher Sandler, the captain of the Sapphire of the North. We would be interested, if you would, if you would trust us, to f in ferrying your latest shipments, given that this other man has let you down so many times before. Current, currently, he seems like he has bigger issues to fry at the moment. Looks down at the guy currently knocked out. Incapable, if you will. I'll say he handled my shipments incapable. Or incapable. <laughs> well, I, I assure you, sir, <clears throat> we will not make the same mistake. We will get to your shipment where it needs to be, on time, and for fair guild rates. <laughs> Speaking of, um, uh, yeah, actually, you... before you before you speak, he goes, "What are the fair guild rates?" Well, uh, you had to open your mouth, Jeff. <laughs> you'll get you'll get guild rates from any. No, he's but... legitimately asking, "What are guild rates?" You will get guild rates. <laughs> oh, he's at, he does, but he's asking what guild rates are. What I know. Are I, I was answer I was answering the question. <laughs> I was answering. answering. Anyway, you will get the same guild rates from pretty much any reputable merchant who has uh, signed on to a contract with a shipping guild. They are uh, 10 uh, gold per cubic foot of cargo, 1 gold per head, that means any What's person. a cubic foot? A cubic foot is a unit of measurement. 
uh, one gold per head. That means any persons or livestock needing to be transported. Though, if you are uh, transporting weapons, I imagine not many uh, persons uh, needed for that. Or heads. Yes. Uh, and if you need this cargo to be loaded and you cannot load it yourself, uh, it is uh, one silver per pound of uh, cargo loaded by the crew. Uh, also, if you want extra security for your uh, shipment, which we are able to offer, all of these costs are doubled. Well, I would... You can tell that he's getting more angry, but it's not necessarily directed towards you. Okay, so he's still angry. I'm like, oh no, he's getting more angry. Okay. Because the Bobby man got gypped. Yeah. Yes. These are the. Uh... It's all Steve's fault. That's my fault. You're gonna make a poor man get murdered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I guess it would be Baz's fault since he engaged him first. That is true. Hmm. But, uh, yes, these are the, uh, guild rates. You'll get them from pretty much any merchant here who's not a smuggler. And if you're dealing with a smuggler, then obviously you have to worry about the Imperial Navy. And your cargo I as well. Will definitely pay for the protection. <laughs> There's my dogs! I, I didn't hear that over the dogs. Can you repeat that, DM? He, he's paying for protection. He pay will for, definitely pay for protection. Pay for protection, alright. And, uh, now, where does this cargo need to go? Please be east. Two miles up north. Please be east. Please be east. Please be east, not west. Please be north. Please be north. Please be north. But the indication of weapons sending north. Oh well. I guess we'll be with it later. Right now. <clears throat> Actually, guys, bring up the map so I can see it. So okay. I pick up. Because I don't actually have city markers on this map. All right. So, yeah, Virgil, uh, I sorry, I had to run this back just because I had to get this on. Uh, recording. We had to go over a, a small part again. So Virgil points at this part of the map, gets told that there's an unmarked town there that he's delivering this thing to. And he says, he says, all right, I'll go uh, drop a contract. Uh, Captain, could you please uh, entertain our friends for uh, uh, just a few uh, moments? Sure thing. Who the hell is playing... Uh, what was that sound effect? Who's playing like with like U three or some shit? I mean, I'm playing classic. <laughs> well, I'm classic playing Battle Battlefield, yeah. but I have a headset. I'm I playing American Truck Simulator. I don't know. I heard the, I heard something that sounded like it was from U three. Anyway, Virgil runs off. And he's searching <laughs> I mean, for who else war. but Darude. Meanwhile, me and the other guy are just talking about, I don't know, okay. ships he and how, how he blocked that guy up with one punch, and looks to his Long right, Watch is impressed. Looks to his left. Uh, he's like, eh, let's head further into town. So he goes further into town, walks into the market square. Is uh, I'm gonna roll perception. Do I see Darun? I would assume he wouldn't need a very high perception. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God damn it. Okay, so I find him. Wait, was that a yes for him? Pass him or no? It'd be up to Drone on how well he wants to be hidden. If he's not being hidden at all, then yeah, you should be able to find him. Yeah, I have no reason to hide. Okay, so I find Darun and I say, Darun! Darun! Like, I'm kind of run up to him. Yes? I need you to uh, create a contract. Well, I'm gonna need at least paper and ink. Uh, God, so where would we find that? Uh, I'm gonna roll perception again. I'm gonna look for a shop. Right I'm just gonna time. point out I was also searching for stuff to make in contracts too. All right, and I asked like 20 minutes ago. Roll perception with me then. You got a 23. I don't think I need to. <laughs> you both find a shop. It's hard to work out each group. 
Hmm. Alright. Okay, so the lowest strength in contract material would be paper and normal ink. Yep. Is there anything above that? I mean, magical ink, like, obviously, but... No, I mean, like, is there anything above that in the shop? Oh, no. This is just a general store, or a general goods store. Okay, then I guess normal paper, paper and ink it will be. Alright, so we get, the we get the paper, we get the ink. And I pay for, it. Uh, pay for it. How much does it cost? Let's just say two copper. Alright, two copper. Um, I don't have to have a price for those. Remove that from my inventory. As we walk back to uh, the uh, guild office, I say to Darun. All right, so the contract I need you to write up, it's for a, uh, it's a shipping contract. We are transporting a shipment of arms from here to a town. What? Uh, lies between the two okay. rivers. The name of the town will be specified in the contract when we write it up at the guild office. Okay. At that point, we will also do the math to determine uh, how much he owes us for this. Uh, you know how uh, I understand you're uh, familiar with uh, drawing up legal contracts? Judging by what you did yes. with Ganon, I mean. Wink, wink. <laughs> now, I, come on in. So I take him in, and we sit down. I say, I say, I, I say, uh, good Mr. Hans, this is our uh, writer of contracts and business partner, uh, uh, Mr. Galas. Now, Mr. G now, uh, Mr. Galas here will uh, have to ask you a few questions. Uh, in order uh, so that this contract might be filled out. Um, red box in the garage, I think. What do you ask? Okay, I'm back. Uh, I'm back. No, uh, first. Uh, what is the name of uh, this this uh, town we are delivering uh, the shipment to? Like I said, it's not on any actual what map. What is it called? Must have a name. Map Just no. went to the garage to find pliers. Map or no, any settlement has a name. Pliers! Just that it's not even a settlement. It's more like a forward camp. A camp, okay. To, okay, to put that down. Uh, to, from. Yes. Put it down. To be taken from. Marzil Strict to Forward Camp. Do you have that? Yes, Forward Camp. At, yeah, that place. Uh, now, how much cargo is being loaded? Of... About 50 cubic feet of miscellaneous weapons. And about 200 cubic feet of, uh... One more time, sir. 50 cubic feet of miscellaneous weapons. And about 200 cubic feet of, um, medicine and food. Supply All right, All right. Uh, 250 cubic feet in total. Uh, any I'm back again, and hopefully I won't. Any, be interrupted again. Will any persons uh, be accompanying this cargo? No. No persons? Okay. Good, good. Right. And now you said you wanted the security, yes? Maximum security? Yes, please. Alright, so let's factor that in. Will this be loaded yourself or will you require uh, the crew to load it? Sorry, what was the question? Uh, will uh, you be loading the uh, cargo yourself, or do you require the crew to load it? Uh, crew. Crew. Okay, yes. 
Now, how much does this weigh in pounds? Because that uh, is how we determine the cost of the loading. So you say it's uh, 250 cubic feet. How much does this weigh in pounds? I have to do math. You do. Oh, I know what I was hearing. Who's playing Victoria? Not me. Max. It is you Max. Know what? I don't doubt yes. that. Max yeah, is the one is playing Max. Victoria. That's what I heard. I thought it was EU3. It was Victoria 2. <laughs> just aren't used to playing. Oh like, my god. No wonder the guild makes a killing on this shit. Fuck. What? <laughs> Virgil's running these numbers and he's just looking at the, at the numbers just get big. <laughs> Getting sweaty and uh, it's getting bigger, bigger and bigger and bigger. And and arms are heavy because that 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 ten gold per cubic feet. Oh. Jesus! And if we're carrying two hundred and fifty cubic feet, a good. Now that that's not cubic good. feet of twenty five hundred uh coin right there. That's twenty five hundred times two because we're offering security. That's five thousand gold coins. Wait, what? what? John, did you even say that? Hey, baby. <laughs> yeah, I did, but I'm also considering upkeep for everything else. It's five. You still have to pay the guild commission, plus, but yeah, still, the that's guild, a lot. The guild takes its hold on. third. We, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have enough with this one run to go pay, to fucking, to buy, Wait, to quick, continue fi running our crew for another six real months, real quick, pay off the quick. fucking loan, pay Not off yet. the I haven't done, I haven't people. finished yet. That's 5,000. Plus, okay, if it's 600 pounds of cargo, and it costs a silver per pound, so that's, uh, that's six, plus 600 silver, but that's double, so, so plus 1,200 silver, which, how much is 1,200 silver in gold? 120. 120, so. I think. Five, you know, let's just go with it. 5,120. Divided by I'm one not curious if my math is actually right. 5,120. Hey, okay, hey, what's the conversion of one gold to silver? Divided by a third. And Damn, I am three, right. Gold. It's 10. Steve. So it is 120. What? The, the time. So, I know. Uh, yeah, it's like 8.30. It's past your bedtime. Yeah. Alright, so I have generated, I have generated how, what profit we will make. We will make a profit of... Uh, so, so, the the total <laughs> commission that this man will be paying us. So I, I've done the math. I say, all right, sir. To ship this, this will cost five thousand one hundred and twenty gold pieces. Wow. How much of that goes to the guild? A One, third. a third, One leaving third us that. with a profit of. 3,293 gold. Well, no, that's not how profit works, because you also have to pay all of the people helping oh, the transport. Well, yeah, we also have to pay all of our workers. But it that's, leaves that's an the available revenue. amount of... Yeah, that's our revenue, I guess, is 3,293 gold. Yeah, it's it's pretty good revenue. At that point, our ship can carry all of that, right? Yes. yes. No problem. <laughs> We'll just have to leave someone behind. Uh, <laughs> I think Max is dead weight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he just made this contract. He's, he's, he's done. Yeah, he's, I was gonna say, he's only made the contract. He's a so valuable he's... member of this uh, crew. Plus, technically, he's part of your... Well, he's part of your crew, regardless if you came out or not. Because he's on yeah. the uh, guild. Yeah, now... Mm. Alright. So, uh, does, does the man <laughs> agree to the terms? Yes. Man, all right, was, all right, sir. Uh, just sign here. Grabs the quill, signs his name. At that point, I reach out my hand again, and I say, "You won't regret this, sir." He you shakes your hand. I hope not. 
Yeah, so me and Brindle walk in here, and I'm like, all right, here's the plan. We find so the biggest the guy in the room. Bar. I challenge him to arm, or wait, no. We challenge each other to arm wrestling, and we put money on it, right? But afterwards, we'll hand the money back to each other. We see if anyone else wants to get in on it, okay? Honestly, I'll see. Here's, here's my suggestion at a game, at, at a character, is just, you just say, Hey, anybody want to toss a dwarf? That'd be five, uh, five gold. <laughs> No, I Dr somehow do not me. like where this is going, yeah. and I feel like so... it's gonna end horribly. I go I'm into going... the scheme. I'm, I'm, I'm asking into the scheme, and I go, So, what's the split? 50 50? No, it'd be 7 30 you know because what? your height. Who, whoever wins the most gets 60%. How about that? Hey, but remember, I'm not as strong as you. That's okay. I'll be, I'll, I'll still be giving you forty percent by the end of this. Fine. All right. I'll wait. Uh, I'll let you go first, in, and then I'll I... go in. Then you'll let you challenge me. I sit down and like. I don't know how to initiate the challenge. Also, I don't know why we didn't I don't know get involved. How to do this. I don't know why we didn't get involved in the message you? in the first place. When we were smuggling, mm -hmm. like we were charging like four hundred gold of shit we should have been making thousands on. I know. Yeah. We, we, we did it wrong. Different. We got, we got owned by the guild, bro. <laughs> You all owned yourselves. Yeah, I, th this yes, is you did. Asked, to be fair, well, to yeah. be fair, yeah. those two never asked anything about guild. Period. They didn't even they didn't even concept into their brain. I just want to say, I just want to say, to like, be fair, to be fair. Move. Hold on, shut, <laughs> shut, 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 shut. To be fair, to be fair, we destroyed a regional economy for a week. So that's, no, I'm, I'm, I'm right. proud of myself. Not so, really, no. do it for I good sit money. down and I'm like, I don't care. So dwarf, it's, it's, you wouldn't think you can beat me, and I'm saying this loud enough for the rest of the tavern here. You really think no, you're no one in the tavern me. cares? They're just gonna go back to drinking. And here, okay. Wait, wait, what are you saying? One so is Michael's calling me short and said he's like, glad you really think your you're pork stronger top. than me, little man? I'm putting on a show, you know? Yeah. I go, uh... What did you call me? Wench? Even though, yeah, you're clearly, you know, more uh, a knight. So, yeah. You heard what I said. Gold to whoever wins. How about that? You're on. Faces are armed. I'll guess I'll get a barrel to sit yeah. on uh, to a table. <laughs> barrel to sit on. I'm a dwarf. Yeah. What else can I do? Right. Use your levitation. <laughs> I guess we'll uh, put it in our goal, which we're gonna get back later. Yeah, you're gonna get back, so we aren't gonna change this. Yeah. So. I go, uh, yeah. Drain. <laughs> Ooh. And I'll... Wouldn't that be dexterity and strength? Uh. Well, this is arm wrestling, so I would imagine it's strength. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It takes so long for his to update. Yeah, he still well, have zero strength. I know. You got to level four and you didn't put it into improving it. I have other things to do, but I will All right, eventually. That's fair. Yeah, so I, I easily beat him, and I'm kind of looking around the room, and I'm, I'm gonna try and find. The biggest yeah. man in the room. Now, nah, yeah, you, I guess you'll first show it, take the money, and then rise it up, and you go, ha -ha. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who else wants a taste? Showing them this amount of gold, they'll be, you know, inside. That, I'll, mm, I'll just go into the corner. I'll just go into the corner, uh, corner of the bar. You know, I don't just show account. off his coin. I show off the one that I put down too. Yeah, I'll, I'll just like, pretend. I'll go sulking like. Who wants to win two gold? gold? 
I, I just go over to the bar, uh, imagine, yeah, yeah, just pretending I'm stalking, like, fuck, I lost. Um... I... Yeah, I, like I said, I look for the biggest guy in the room, and I'm like, Hey, you! Think you could win two gold super easy? Hmm? Hey, 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 you! I, I, I know a person who would be willing to, willing to only charge two gold for you. A wood elf walks up to the table. I'll Anyways, boys, I'm going to bed. Have a good night. Have a good night. See you soon. This will be too easy. I'm gonna put down the two gold on the side. I'm like, you know what? You only have to put down one. Whoever beats me wins the whole pot. <sighs> That's how you gold. do this, Brindle. Put down a gold. Michael, are you just gonna try to run if you actually lose? No. He puts down one gold. Right. Isn't he fighting Brindle? Like, wasn't that the whole point? No, I'm, uh, I'm uh, arm wrestling a wood elf. Yeah. He won't and I, uh, I went to the bar and, elf. yeah, you know, like, like I'm so bulky, like, uh, I can't He's about to get honestly. They yeah. do this to themselves. We know. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Crit failure. One in 20 chance. One in 20 chance of getting owned and it happened. Try again. Uh, yeah, you know, you, you know. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait you don't, dude, you don't have doing? Indomitable. What's Indomitable? You're not level eight. It's a shame. We're ten. Mm -hmm. Wait. Reroll a, a saving throw. And Do technically, it wouldn't that? be a saving throw. It would be an athletic skill check. Uh, well, yeah, but wait. Do I have that? Because athletics is like what normal athletics is. When do you get that? Because I think I remember it oh, being a fighter thing. Oh, no, I've never gotten perfect. high enough level to actually use it. Oh, no, wait, no. Athletic. Yeah. Okay, in that case, I roll actually higher. Thanks. Uh, shit. Not his fault. Michael lost his I, so, I rolled a random yeah, 20 plus I, a strength modifier. I slide the two Three. coins his way. Yeah. Just say you I know, right? sure. Yeah, yeah that this happened real at quick. the start. <laughs> just challenge her again. Oh, just challenge her again. You <laughs> go again. Yeah, I I put down one gold from my <laughs> one person. I'm like, can I try that again? <laughs> it puts down one of the three that he just received. Yeah. All right, yeah. and you're saying it, it's at Fanatics instead? I mean, uh, it'd be it the be. same for me. Yeah. Oh. Hey, there we go. Okay. See, nice. it works fine when I don't roll a one. <laughs> Speaking of ones... <laughs> so Michael managed to go one. from negative two coins to zero coins. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> <Help>. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, the current size of the pile is two gold. Two. Yeah. God, that could have ended so much better if I just <laughs> rolled anything but a one. <laughs> yeah. No, but that wood elf could not have been the biggest guy in the room. Could no, he? he definitely wasn't the biggest guy in the room. He was the first one to challenge. Yeah. Try yeah. to get that Elvis supremacy over the dwarf, but yeah. yeah. The biggest guy on the I room mean... is actually going to be a half orc. Ooh. Hey, Brindle, if you lost to me and I lost to an elf, does that mean you would lose <laughs> to an elf? <laughs> and I'm I'll just like go. leaning over him. I'll let that go. <laughs> 
I would. Michael, I imagine I just the that you are digging a pit. <laughs> no, dude. Yeah, I would, a little bit. He, he slighted your whole people. Take him out. <laughs> I insulted his entire The, the funny thing is, is I literally just went on a random website to hit fast character. And that's uh, what they gave me. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. I have three fast characters up here. Just in yeah, case I, I think them. I think my character would just try and get away with this as long as she possibly can. So, yeah. do we just like speed roll a bunch of athletics checks? Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, half or we will step up to the table. All right. I leave the two gold on the side, or should I just put one forward this time instead of trying the whole pot thing again? That's up to you. I think I'll just put down one. <laughs> Protection against that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely there to protect me against that one. <laughs> Alright, so... He puts down the gold? Yeah. Alright. Hmm. Could be better. Could be so much better. Michael rolled a 12? Yeah. I rolled a 5. Rolled a 5. Against the 23. <laughs> I rolled a 5 to a 17, alright? <laughs> Just die alone, he lost. Whack. Yeah. No, I'll all right. good. So I lost <clears throat> one. I still have Brindle's coin that I can give back to him if this... <laughs> Thing fails so you won't end up being in the negative. Yeah. So well, he is. Again. He's negative one coin. Yeah. Double or nothing. I, I put Brindle's coin down. Oh, double or nothing? I put one of my own coins down. Alright, let's do it. Oh. <laughs> double <Wow>. fail. <laughs> I told oh. you guys he was going to swindle himself. <laughs> he did not disappoint. Oh, oh man, dude. man. <laughs> Duke. One second, one second. I gotta. My man first said, off, I have dude, a plan you're forgetting. It's, it's athletics. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. Throws. Hang on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do something real quick. None of these count. Dude, don't worry. <laughs> I actually don't have a strength score. All right. Neither does Brindle, so it's all good. I mean, okay. I no, we're in the good rolls now. We're in the good rolls now. I'm Rolls ready. in that one. <laughs> all right. I'm built for this. You say that, that, Michael, but... Should I put down another two? Would you like to go for a triple? How many times Fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to lose all my money, I don't care. Alright. This time triple? Yeah, this time triple. I already edited the amount of money I have. And you won it this time. It should not have taken that many tries. Why are you still wrong your strength save? What? Why are you still wrong Oh no, all those uh, d20s were to get out the bad luck. No, no, no. Oh, you roll a strength save. Is this the athletics or is it the same? Regardless I, of whatever. They're the same. They're both uh, save mod plus seven. Oh, okay. It's just I'll... easier to pick on core he's stats weak. and to no, get their skills. Weak. Be right enemy. back, I'm gonna go get food. I'm gonna go to the toilet real quick. He's weak. Take him out. Michael is the weak link. Michael, how much money are you planning to lose? Not enough, apparently. He could go for some more. Oh, so this is a very interesting about that. turn of events. Iron for 125 mining. Yeah, okay. So I assume Steve already headed out? Yeah. Yes. So we're just, we're just uh, fucking around with gambling time? Yeah, yeah I might. I yes, might watching Michael lose there. all of his money no, slowly. I'm, I'm fine with watching Michael lose all his money. I, th I think it just feels, you know, 
bad. For <laughs> I like how we like we just like Virgil and and, and Long Watcher conclude a deal to make three thousand gold. Rhiannon, all right, I'm gonna go to this tavern and just get home. <laughs> just lose every bet I made. Fucking rules. The duality of man. And the funny thing is, these are just randomly generated characters. Oh, and each time she's lost so far, it's because she rolled a nat one. Imagine yeah, getting, getting owned by, like, uh, by an Oblivion NPC. I'm pretty sure at this point Michael would. I mean, they do they do survive many goals, so like how can you compete with that? I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna put on some oblivion town ambulance. You wanna know the great thing about Silverman? There's two of everything. You've got two banks. Alright, I have returned. Two inns. Two auction houses. Why do you have two auction houses? Because they have an east one and a west one. And then they've got right. an east end and a west end, and an east bank and a west bank. It's east side versus west the side. The west bank? Yeah, dude. There's a west bank All right. in Is uh, it, uh. We still doing triples? Uh, triple? Yeah, sure. Yeah, there's a West Bank. Oh, yeah. Fuck me. Michael was oh, so okay. close to losing. And Max, Max, there's two different ones. Might be there. For all of those, yeah. because you have you have yeah. a high class in and a low class in. You've got the Royal Exchange Bank and Auction House and the Bazaar hey, Bank and hey, Auction he's House. He's tired of losing, so he's gonna step away. So all right. now, it's it's just how it works. Okay, I'm back. I won back our money, man. <laughs> With, and what? Uh, well, let's see. I started with 98. I thought Brenda was and I'm at, like or, you lost it. at 88, and I'm at 92 right now, so. Net net positive of 4. What? 40. Net, net positive right? of 40. 4 gold. What math are you using? Net positive of 4 gold. I started with Didn't 88. Didn't you lose and 2 and then win 3? some doubles in there yeah there were some doubles we are now on triples apparently i don't know shit's crazy <laughs> and then you won that yeah i won that hmm. might i do something while he keeps good doing this are you gonna start a drinking game no i'm gonna start drinking okay I Same thing. Like, uh, I'd like to co go over, uh, call over the bartender as this is happening. Yeah. While Rhiannon has her fun. Oh man, I think my arm's starting to get tired. Hmm. Oh, tired again. Oh, halfling. Oh yes. Watch it's a halfling You're barbarian. Gonna... Are Level you going 20 to... halfling barbarian dude has nah, plus you're going... 20 I bet you're going... strength rolls. I bet you're going to yeet him across the tavern. You won't yeet the halfling. If you don't yeet a halfling, are you There, really there were plenty that served on my father's estate. Alright, uh... Do I, uh, when, uh did, right. I, uh... did I get the bartender or... Oh, you're yeah, just doing something. you're getting the bartender's attention. All right, I go. Uh, do you have any uh, do mail? I'm thirsty after long travel. You Actually, would like do. a dwarvish drink? Oh, could uh, could oh, you pour I me some? Enjoy my I haven't tasted drink. home for a long time. <laughs> Where's your mug? Tasty. <laughs> I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll ask, wh uh, what do I owe you for this? On the year, half works tab. What? It's on the half works tab. Oh. Which are half orc? The one that I just, just beat. lost. Ah. Yeah. 
nice guy. I'll go. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll look over and then I'll yeah. uh, you know uh, I'll heave it up. All right. And you know, acknowledging so... him for yeah, putting it on his tab, and I'll, I I go thank you, and I just yeah, drink. How much is the half? Do I have to roll a constitution save, or do I just, you know, enjoy my drink? You just enjoy your drink. Five gold. Yay. Oh, I just five say, gold. I'll, put down five I'll probably gold, just... Right? I'll just... Alright, I also put down a stack of five gold. Let's do this. Alright, let's go! Get, get your arm out there! Let's go! <laughs> Wait, he has plus five. Oh my god. This is the swollest... Uh, halfling. Yeah, this is the swollen uh, halfling. Oh my god. Let me what, it was. what was it? Let me tell you, these are randomly generated. Mm -hmm. Barbarian, level 4. Halfling. Uh, light foot. Plus 3 to strength. It has plus 5 to accurate athletics. <laughs> mm. I mean, I can... I, I didn't tweak yeah. it. I just randomly rolled it. Well, that is one one out. Yeah. yeah, I managed to win out. We're yeah, at 97, by the way. Is he gonna go for the double or nothing? Or is it yeah, sure? Did he Wait, fly we're, out? Double or we're nothing. betting 10? Double or nothing. Yes. I, well, I look at Brindle to see out? if he heard that. I have to I have to ask, did he fly on the first <laughs> attempt? Like, no. They, okay. they no. barely won. Okay. This is one a by small one. ass. That happening. was a that oh, okay. was a close one. I'm not letting you walk away with this. All right. I'm gonna laugh at my ten. I just want one. All right. Come on, put him up. Mm. Not the be oh. There you go. Right. <laughs> yeah. Now pay up. All right. <laughs> I slide I'll back and I say. I'll just but I'll don't forget, I need a chance to win it back, and I put down another ten. Triple. DM, what does he do? Triple. Oh, we're going to fifteen. That's up to you. No, he said ten. It wouldn't it be thirty? Oh, I thought I heard. Yeah, no. I thought I heard him say triple, and I was like, no, like, tri no, like triple, like question mark, like triple. <clears throat> oh, like best out of three, almost. Yeah, yeah like are you yeah. gonna? No, I, 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 I see you. Yeah. I'll probably so I put down another mug. 10, uh, that Just... brings me down to 77. Will he do it, DM? Yeah, he matches. Alright, that's All right. a deal. Triple, then. Ah, oh, yeah. you beat him just barely. <laughs> by one. <gasps> oh you know, my I god. No, I could be an it's ass. Just... Uh, out oh, of game, I could be an ass. What? Oh Use the lucky a... feet. That half -life no. Half -life he has lucky. No. No. Oh, that fucking no. No, no, no. Halflings don't have Do lucky. It. They have reroll crit, crit fails. Yes. Oh right, they have reroll crit fails. Yeah. Yeah, they reroll their ones. They don't reroll oh. like nineteens. Okay. Yeah. Also, it's a nineteen. The only way he would I beat know. me is with a twenty. I, I mean, right. roll again just to confirm. You know. Oh no, I'm not going to use it. He's All got right. the element of surprise. So I, I assume this halfling's out of the game now. Yeah, I yeah. think my arm is sore too. He says, "All right, you won. Take your winning slash." I will admit, you are yeah, without I... a doubt the strongest halfling I have ever met. I'll take I, I probably, I'll probably heave my cup and say, "Better than Shouty." <laughs> You take care. Um, you take he care. He barely of won class. against a uh, halfling, which means he would have destroyed you. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, that was the ground. Oh my oh god, my this god. halfling would have annihilated I Prindle. Just the zeppelin. <laughs> this halfling would have annihilated Prindle. For whatever reason, I went to the bar. On all of my horde <laughs> characters, <laughs> I'm bar. running through dead mines like once. So how much all money right. have you uh, so, have you made so far? Uh, what's ninety-seven minus eighty-eight? That's nine. That's only nine gold. And that's not including uh, Brindle's uh, gold piece, because I didn't include that when I was messing so with So you have the money. made eight gold. No, that's nine gold. Brindle uh, didn't change his character sheet, because I was playing on giving him that coin back anyway, so we did change it. Okay. So, 
we agreed 60 40 i think it's yeah. more like i just keep five he gets four are you okay with that sure if it's yeah 60, so i i joined him at the bar barely won a yeah bunch of games and made i mean i'll take gold. what i can yeah i'll take so what i, I can fucking get. i hand you the four gold and like that was like uh stuff. underhand without getting noticed yeah i just kind of oh uh, shit did you did we both uh, or did i just press okay no. It'll, okay yeah so i just decreased my money to 93 which is an improvement but it's now i have 12 gold i'll just whisper good job and i just keep uh chuck yeah i'll just keep uh enjoying my drink and while reminiscing the taste as i uh have tasted when in my youth mm. when i was but a probably win a drinking game how many times have you lost well i was gone getting food oh, uh, as, as was in Mitch. Yeah, I made a profit. It was a small profit. I made a profit. Guys, yes. at the word drinking ch uh, drinking game, and after, uh, in the middle of a chuck, he just goes down with a chuck and just come, uh, look over at Rhiannon with a smile. I mean, they're already all drunk, right? You're not going to try to pick them, to them, are you? Out now, cause I'm going to eat no, he's going to try and beat them in a drinking game. These yeah. random and these oblivion NPCs. But I'm going to tell you this: I'm going to bow out because I'm going to right. eat my dinner. We will All continue right. this we'll next wait. time. Right. I the guess. Session ends.